folks, this is Lee Murphy, the artist behind Art by Lee Murphy.com and the creator of everything you see on this channel. And here we have a 20 by 16 inch, something a little bit different than I usually do, uh, oil painting, I guess you would call this a vignette on, and it would appear to be raw linen, but it really is not. Um, I used a clear gesso on this because if anybody studied their chemical properties and the science behind oil painting, uh, the raw linseed oil in the paint, the binder in the paint, reacts badly with a lot of organic material and will eventually rot it. That's why we have uh, traditionally sealed canvases with glue sizing and priming. But thanks to modern technology, we can use acrylic resins, which do pretty much the same thing, but actually do it better. But um, I was teaching myself, this is one of the first ones I did on this clear gesso, what looks like raw linen canvas. And obviously, you know, if anybody's ever been through art education, vignettes are frowned upon as something that rank amateurs do. And I'm like, well, they do, but that doesn't mean they're wrong. Um, sometimes they're fun to try things out, not have to make a complete um, formal painting on and just work out problems of rendering and design. And sometimes here, I feel, you know, sometimes they work on their own. So I try to keep a vignette, when I do a vignette, try to keep it dynamic with all the lines and colors pushing out into the blank space, or what we call the negative space, around the images to try to keep it integrated rather than having it look like something you just shot a hole in the painting with, or shot a hole in the canvas with the paint. Anyhow, it got me to doing a little bit of research about how there is a traditional bias in favor of linen canvas over cotton canvas. And I grew up learning about that. And it's pretty common in a lot of the art circles. And I started asking around, reading around, looking around, doing research and such. And it came to a simple idea of the birthplace of traditional oil painting is obviously in Europe. And I'm not gonna go down the whole colonial Buddhism thing like that anyway. Uh, it's just a practical point. Um, I had it explained to me and, and a lot of research that I read uh, corroborated that in that part of the world, cotton was a rarity. Uh, it's a, cotton is a, is a tropical plant that doesn't do well and that would have to be imported. So what was local on hand was linen, the flax for linen and such. It does make an ideal support for art, but I think just the, the overwhelming tradition of using linen over cotton for the basis of an oil painting or the support for an oil painting may be just tradition and not practicality because I think now with the ubiquitous, ubiquitous availability of cotton canvas, I think it's been pretty well proven out that the one is functionally no different than the other, but it still has a nice look to it. Uh, personally, I would love to be able to get a hold of more unbleached um, raw cotton type canvases that still have the subtle pretty nuances of the raw plant material in it rather than what we mostly find for painting canvases is even the ones that aren't particularly completely sealed and bleached out you still don't see a whole lot of organicness to it maybe that will change but uh, it's kind of neat to try out something new like this and work on a neutral tone background rather than relying on the stark whiteness the sterility of the canvas uh, or the support behind the painting and try to integrate it somehow. I'm a big fan of tr tone drawings and stuff like this as well to kind of train the eye a little bit differently. So uh, give it some thought and see if it might work for you too. And uh, hopefully this works and hopefully this was of interest and use and thank you for watching.